Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about unhittability and what it means for paladin farming as well as some examples of where it's useful and where it's not. I originally got this idea from an Arleus video where he talked about how to become unhittable and he showed an example of himself in Scarlet Monastery where he wasn't being hit by any melee attacks. Unfortunately, we weren't really able to see this idea more fleshed out as Arleus quit not long after without really exploring the topic. But when I saw it, I knew it was something that I wanted to pursue. So when I got my Paladin to level 70, I immediately started targeting Avoidance Gear. After a lot of dungeon and raid grinding, I finally have a decent set that allows me to become unhittable by melee attacks in almost every dungeon up to level 60. Here's a spreadsheet created by Arleus and modified by me where we can calculate our avoidance percentage against lower level mobs. This spreadsheet uses formulas to calculate your character's avoidance and adds the extra missed chance against lower level mobs to give you a total avoidance number against that mob. As you can see, I'm at 99.78 avoidance against level 60 targets and with Mark of the Wild, I can reach 100% avoidance against level 60s pretty easily. The idea of this is very interesting and it seems overpowered, but it has some major drawbacks. For example, special attacks and spells can still hit you. So in places where there's a lot of spells being cast or special abilities being used, you can still run into some issues. Disarms completely remove your ability to parry, which in my case is almost 20% of my avoidance. A single disarm and I go from 100% avoidance against level 60s to only 80%. Stuns will completely destroy your character as you can't avoid any attacks while you're stunned, so no matter how much avoidance gear you have, if you get stunned, you basically have zero. Debuffs that lower your stats, more specifically agility, will decrease your dodge chance, which can also put you back on the hit table. So with all those things in mind, here's what I've learned from my testing. Blackrock Depths. The guardsmen in here have a disarm and thus lower your avoidance by a very large amount. The dogs also have a growl that reduces agility and strength, and not only that, but the fire elemental's attacks can't be blocked because they deal fire damage. In Dire Mall East, a very large number of the mobs have stuns, making it very hard for any paladin to do large-scale AoE farming. This isn't really a drawback of the avoidance set as much as it is a weakness of being a melee in stun range. A free action potion might solve this issue, but in that case, you're probably better off using a high spell power build instead. Maradon is another dungeon where you will be consistently stunned, which no amount of avoidance will help with. While it is possible with an avoidance set, there's really no point since you'll have much quicker kills with a high spell power set and a free action potion. Although it has weaknesses, don't count this build out just yet because it can really shine in situations when there's no disarms and no stuns. LBRS is a great example of this, as there's a ton of elites in here, and you're never really in any danger of dying as long as you're facing your enemies. This could also give you a lot more safety when farming Stratholm, as you can reduce the damage you take to nearly zero. Of course you won't have as much spell power, so you might have to sacrifice a small amount of speed for safety. Lower level dungeons like Scarlet Monastery, RFK, Old Mon, and others become a complete joke as you will very easily hit 100% avoidance against the targets inside. Overall, I've been having decent success with AoE farming and avoidance gear, and I'm looking forward to what future upgrades will allow me to do. I'll continue to test things with my current level of gear, and I'll let you guys know if I find a cool farm. If you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments, and I'll give it a try. In the future, we'll be able to reach even higher levels of avoidance and hopefully farm some Burning Crusade dungeons. Unfortunately, I'm not quite there yet and I'll need a little bit more gear before I try those out. If you're looking to build an avoidance set for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description to my gear which is relatively easy to obtain. I hope you guys found this topic as interesting as I do and I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.